Its shape is infinitely customizable depending on the customer's needs. The Toyota Tacoma truck is made in the United States for Americans and Canadians to avoid the chicken tax, whereas the Toyota Hilux pickup is sold in 181 other nations. It has a simpler, more similar appearance to our Tacoma. It's recognizable from footage of humanitarian help or conflict zones on international news. It seems that it had become quite extravagant, and at $15,200 starting price, it was pricing itself out of some of those markets. With a planned starting price of $10,000, the Toyota IMV0 aims to occupy the affordable space beneath the Hilux. It debuted in style as part of the Land Cruiser 7D series at the 2023 Japan Mobility Show. Toyota has redesigned every aspect of this truck with the goal of minimizing costs and including just the most essential components. In order to get their input on how to best optimize the chassis and cab for aftermarket builds, the development team even extended an invitation to upfitters worldwide. The following list shows the modifications, what's still there, and what has been omitted. All flat glazing for the windshield, side and rear windows. Flat bed with no sides as standard, with a limited number of upgrades. No anti-lock braking, but a load-sensitive proportioning valve is standard, and ABS will be optional. Hilux's standard ABS makes it difficult for upfitters to install heavier-duty rear axles. No airbags. These will also be optionally available or standard in some markets. No armrests, just door pockets that double as door pulls. Crank windows. Plastic and rubber galore inside. Hilux control arm. Call sprung front. Leaf sprung rear chassis easily upgraded for higher GVWR. Although the specifics of the powertrain are unknown. We assume that the vehicle had the standard 2.0-litre, 139-horsepower, 4-cylinder gas engine and 5-speed manual transmission seen in Hilux models. We anticipate that there will be other engines available, but the 2.4-litre, 150-horsepower Hilux engine will be the diesel. This stripped-down truck felt much lighter than its size indicated, even with airbags and ABS, so it picked up speed quicker than anticipated. Though its reasonable precision did not bring back memories of full-size Yank trucks from the past, its long shifter did. The Bridgestone Duravis R611 commercial vehicle tires, 215, 6 to 5 R16 for lots of sidewall, block-out engine and road noise, which prevents your ears from becoming fixated on the wind noise produced by the bluff flat glass windshield when traveling at high speeds. Reports state that the brakes seem solid and assured, capable of surprising much greater mass. It will be quite refreshing to drive such a simple, no-frills vehicle, especially in today's world of $50,000 median-priced new cars in the US. As soon as you start driving this truck, you realize how much it will help people all across the world accomplish the hard labor required to earn a livelihood, create communities, assist others, etc. That makes it a completely different kind of lifestyle vehicle from what we're used to. The dropside flatbed that came equipped with it had a tailgate that you could open or close by rotating and sliding a pin on each side. A bed step is available to help with the ascent. All that's left of the bedside is a hole punched out and folded over in around 3, 16-inch steel. There are numerous flat areas where things can be fastened, and the upper sides of the cap have mounting points for roof racks. Toyota, however, intends to maximize profits from upfit possibilities rather than minimizing profits from the sale of the base truck. There were two on show at the Japan Mobility Show this year. One dressed like a pop-up coffee shop and the other like a straight-up workhorse toting a big load. The computer model depicted it as a race support vehicle, an overland camper, and other uses. You can be confident that an IMV0 will be used for far more difficult and demanding tasks than any of these suggestions in the third world. There is far too much history and goodwill associated with Hilux, therefore don't count on the IMV0 name to make production. Hilux Champ is the production name, according to some people. Whatever the case, it is scheduled for delivery to ASEAN markets beginning in 2025 with a price tag of $10,000 in areas that allow the removal of airbags and ABS as of 2023. Expect to pay up to $5,000 less than the current mainstream Hilux in markets with stricter regulations. And now let's see why the banned Toyota Hilux should be set free in the USA.
The fact that pickup trucks are among the most widely used car body types worldwide may not be strange. Almost everywhere you go, people will definitely be aware of it, even in the United States where vehicles such as the Toyota Hilux were never offered. When a vehicle is built so beautifully that people really find it difficult to intentionally break it, there seems to be something fascinating about it. Except for the United States, where the Tacoma replaces the Hilux, the Hilux is sold in the great majority of other nations. The Hilux and the Tacoma of the previous generation are somewhat comparable. It is a mid-sized truck that primarily caters to the markets in Europe, Australia and Africa. It might be slightly smaller than the Tacoma. The Hilux is still one of the most popular trucks on the road and sells remarkably well throughout the world. It was indeed Australia's best-selling car for a considerable amount of time. But the all-new Ford Ranger has just surpassed the present model due to its antiquated features and design. It may surprise you to learn that the Hilux was formally offered for sale in the United States. The vehicle was first released in 1968 and was a huge hit when it was brought to North America in 1972. What's even more amazing is that in 1974 it won pickup of the year, since the American market at the time placed a high priority on locally produced products, Toyota's accomplishment is unquestionably remarkable. Later on, the Tacoma replaced the Hilux, roughly in the middle of the 1990s. Isn't it unfortunate that one of the most popular pickup trucks in the world isn't offered in the nation of the pickup truck? Since the Hilux would provide something that is currently lacking, we think it would be extremely beneficial and successful in the American market. That thing is a real work truck, no gimmicks at all. You see, the majority of trucks on the domestic market today are attempting to reinvent themselves as something they were never intended to be. There are 12 distinct trim levels available for all vehicles, ranging from basic pickups to luxurious monsters that may rival luxury sedans in some situations. For those who require a truck only for work, the Hilux may offer a simple answer. Its inside is as practical as contemporary interiors get. Its exterior is straightforward, and its compact size and fuel-efficient diesel engine would make it a very attractive vehicle in today's dynamic environment. In GR Sport cars, a 4.0 gas-powered V6 is available, but with the current trend of engine downsizing and emission regulations, that power plant would undoubtedly be deemed too thirsty. People appear to be falling back in love with smaller, more affordable trucks in the wake of recent global events, and the Hilux is a wonderful fit in that category. Although it will never be able to haul or carry as much weight as a full-size pickup, many people would find its simplicity appealing. Regulations and client needs have rendered the Hilux less trustworthy and durable, as is the case with other modern cars. Particularly, the exhaust gas recirculation system and diesel particulate filter on its 2.8-litre turbo diesel engine which generates a respectable 201 horsepower and 368 pound-feet of torque clog the intake and exhaust systems, causing issues in the future. Despite this, it remains among the most durable cars available and may be made even more resilient if the right adjustments are made from the start. The Hilux is supported by a ladder frame underneath which has an independent front axle and a solid rear axle with leaf springs. The Hilux also shares a very similar six-speed transmission with the original Tacoma, making the layout practically identical. When not loaded, the leaf-sprung rear axle exhibits choppy behavior, and the transmission is not quite as sophisticated as those offered by Ford. Even though this configuration is now very outdated, it's been around for around seven years. This is part of its attractiveness. The current Hilux and the fifth-generation 4Runner, both of which are outdated but nevertheless manage to retain their sales numbers, are in a comparable position. But that doesn't mean Toyota shouldn't make these updates. Having said that, what do you think of Toyota's $10,000 pickup truck and the Toyota Hilux? Share your thoughts in the comment box below. If you've watched up to this point, thank you so much. For more videos about EVs, Toyota, Tesla, Ford, and the most recent auto news, please consider subscribing to Tech Addicts.